Hello again, and welcome to this video on Twin Motion, a partner tool that comes with every Revit subscription and is a powerful visualization and XR tool to help promote projects to all kinds of stakeholders. So let's dive in. So obviously the first part is that we can import our data from Navisworks, Revit, and some other source uh, tools. Um, in this case, we're seeing that all of the data that comes from Navisworks has been imported and can be activated and deactivated. We can also set up some scene states, as we're showing here, which allows us to combine multiple elements into visualization. So the next step then is to, as you can see, there's already a bit of data available here, like trucks and excavators, etc. And so Twinmotion comes with a whole library of uh, uh, different components, such as uh, construction trucks, etc., just to put, put a little bit more um, meat to the bone, if you will, a little bit more to the story, as you can see here. Uh, second step, then, is that we can create camera uh, keyframes, so positions basically around uh, the scene, and each and every one of those camera positions can be assigned a scene state, as I was explaining earlier on. So essentially, that means that I can start running with this video and activating for each keyframe, for each camera position, a different state, which essentially means that we're doing our scheduling again, that we're building up the whole building, as you can see here. So this can then be exported uh, as a video, which we'll see later on. Um, Again, as we can see, all kinds of animations can be added here, such as uh, trees that grow, uh, planes that fly through the air. Um, this comes with uh, sound, as you can as you can clearly hear. So that's uh, again just to put more to the story as to bringing it to other stakeholders within uh, the life cycle of the project. All right. So next up. Um, let's uh, look at some of the time-lapse um, possibilities that we have here. So we can change seasons, we can change date and day of time. And all of this, again, is attached to the keyframe of the camera position. Again, people running around, um, making a phone call, etc., uh, to, to fill up the whole scene. Okay, so then let's uh, let's look at some of the things that we can actually create. You've you've seen a uh, video just a second ago. We can also create start positions, such as in this case, well, the the, the start which is called uh, or the the screen which is called start, and then uh, section one which we'll talk about in a second. But this is, as I mentioned, a position which essentially means that we can start running around. We've got some logic attached to, for instance, the distance to a door so that it opens. When I come close to a screen, a video starts running, which is, by the way, the video that I've uh, already generated uh, from the staging and the different phases. So that's now projecting onto this uh, TV screen. So again, just to just to fill up the whole story, just to bring some ideas to customers that we can then, uh, or, or clients that we can then discuss as a, as a project owner. Okay, so we can start running around further further through this uh, factory. Um, as we know from uh, manufacturing design, all of this happens in different zones. So I'm now looking at one of the specific zones. We've even animated the boxes. That's the sort of yellow bulbs and the path that you see there when we uh, finally render out a video that's uh, that's obviously gone and we'll just have the animation uh, we'll show that later on as well and so effectively this could help in conversations between all the stakeholders you know walking around talking about uh, what this will actually look like <clears throat> so we've uh, discovered all of the different zones we've again put some people in that are discussing a certain topic um, we can move on to the next one, which is, for instance, the uh, section view. So again, this is just a camera position, which um, which allows us for complete um, uh, analysis of the of the whole project. In this case, I've added a section box to the project so that we can literally see inside. And again, a different way of showing things to um, to all the stakeholders in the project. All right then, so let's now talk about how we present this to uh, clients or other stakeholders. 
So we can of course export videos, we can of course export images. What we can also do is create a presentation, which essentially means that we can go into a standalone presenter mode, twin motion presenter mode uh, tool, which you see here. So this is basically an executable that we can send to our client and that will have most of the functionality of the full-blown twin motion product, except for the editing um, aspects. So effectively, we can look through the whole scene. The different views that we created in, in twin motion are here. We can change the visualization as we see here. Uh, we can put this into a shaded outline, for instance, uh, still in 3D, so we can still walk around. We can take screenshots here. So again, to optimize that conversation between the different stakeholders. And again, we could potentially go in, we can change views, we can start walking around, we can go through in drone mode, etc., etc. Just a very quick showing of the fact that we can change the daylight we can put this to early morning later in the evening and then again same thing applies as before when we start running around here uh, all of that logic that was in the initial product is still going to be available here so we can walk in that gate will open we can start looking around so basically the same philosophy we can now change to one of the other views that we generated the section box and look inside so that's it thanks for watching see you later and um, do stick around because i've added at the end of this uh, recording i've added the two videos that were presented uh, into emotion so the phasing is completely there and then the section box uh, animated you'll see as well Thanks for now.